fellas, if you girl that you had a crush on secretly had a room where she had pictures everywhere just to view, stalking your every movement online, would you be down for that? Depends how good she looked, but goddamn, she is such a yandere. At the end of each episode, something fucked up always happens, right? Dude, I'm just waiting for a moment where she has that knife and then shows me the smile without the teeth. Actually kind of disturbing, but at the same time, does something for me. Let's begin today's reaction, though. Functioning member of society. Fuck that. Who cares about becoming a functioning member of society, bro? Nah. Just stay inside and be a degen like me. Those glasses, is that how, but how would the glasses keep track of his like heart rate, you know? I think she's found it. I wonder what she would think about, no, it's Aiko just caring about him a lot, but like, you got the phone number, heart rate, body temperature, respiratory rate, w what is this? D okay. Audio and video feeds from where? Where the fuck is the temperature monitor in? The glasses has all of that? Alright, sure. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be too judgmental so far. This is beyond like. This is obsessing. Yeah, yeah, this, this is a big yikes. What did you get? You just made it? She just made it. Even though there's some joking elements here. What? It's cursed. Whenever you spy, check in on him. What? Voices from... Anyways. I think we're casually glossing over the fact that she can engineer these kind of crazy items like this. That That's probably useful in the future, maybe, yeah? Welcome to spying. Not checking anymore. Spying. And in fact, it's a TV show now. Welcome. Woo! I like he'll probably find a friend and then when everything's going right, it'll turn out to be some supernatural bullshit. Oh, this is so awkward, man. <laughs> oh, these social mixers are so awkward, man, especially if you have nothing in common to talk about. Especially like you need some extroverted guys to really lighten the mood, right? But Okay, here he goes. Oh yeah. Who's gonna speak first? Okay. Econ, law? Wow, they actually have majors that can probably get jobs after, unlike humanitarian. What the fuck are you gonna do with that? Oh, this is so awkward, man. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, second, this is like secondhand embarrassment. Ah, uh, how about you? Kind of just deflects that like you don't have to keep talking, right? Yeah, you just continue. Never talk about yourself, make the person talk about themselves. I think that's the best way to converse with somebody new. No one really wants to hear about what you have to say, but other people, if you put them on the spot and you kind of keep poking at it, they'll just keep talking about their own stuff and it makes it easy for conversation. Oh, it's the captain again. <laughs> Sounds like you're having a rough time. Thanks, captain. Mm, I don't like the look in his eyes. Maybe he's giving a really... Why is there fucking smoke coming out of the screen? Who is it? Who is the cursed dude? This guy? Something about him feels off. Uh, mm, why only these guys? Where, where's everyone else? Where are we going? Just drink? This van is sketch, man. Yo, I think we're getting kidnapped. No, don't drink that shit! Don't drink that shit! No, 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 no! <laughs> Something about this feels so sus. No, it's over. We got roofied. A wicked chill. It's him. Look at him. Guys that don't open eyes are like that and keep him shut like that. It's very sus, man. Suicide club. Is this the suicide club? Are you the captain of the suicide club? They all commit mass suicide. That's not much of a welcome party. That's a fucking goodbye party. Uh, are we the suicide club? That's a, it's a secret club. Don't worry about it. 
Yo, the crescent moon is blood red. Uh oh. Yeah, maybe like the travel club? It's probably your fucking name, bro. They all die. There, there he is. There, that, that's his fucking caricature right there. That's his haircut, bro. It's me all along. I am the suicide club leader. Damn, did you see the moon align with his face there? So, uh, now what? What are we gonna do? What about the two passengers behind us, like in the seat? Yeah, Yoi, get in. Oh, he's possessed. It's the water you drank, bro. You got fucking roofied. Yo, those eyes are super sus. Stop looking at him like that. Look at him flexing the fucking... I don't even know what, like, sleeping... Wait. All of them are... All... They are possessed. They're all possessed. Start the van. Let's go. I really like the color of this moon. That bright pinkish. I don't know. It's kind of creepy, but it's also very aesthetic. You just always oh, gonna hang him? That's a chair being knocked over. Therefore, someone's getting choked out. But isn't that Nagayama right? All of them? Damn. You can't really see it that clearly, but... Wow. Oh, oh. I mean, when we watch anime, it's not common. I mean, it, it is common to see limbs getting cut, you know, actual big injuries, like blood and gore everywhere. But like, depictions of suicide of people hanging like this. This is kind of raw. Convinced? It seems like you just roofie them and you hang them. What do you mean, convinced? You know, I'm surprised Eiko and... Uh, yeah, Yoi aren't too worried. I mean, they're driving over, but I thought Eiko would start freaking out. I want to see the super obsessive side of her Yandere side, you know? I wanted to show up and like stab Nagayama or something. It's like, how dare you try to do that to him? Yo, close the door. Kick it down. Or just use your arms like that. Oh, okay. All right. How are you gonna fight this guy? Yeah, yo, you got a crowbar? Yo, yo, what are you gonna do? Kick him in the balls? Yeah, yo, is pretty strong though, right? We've seen her strength the last couple episodes. Oh shit! You got a bottle? Okay. I thought she was fucking smacking with the bottle, but it's more like um, uh, purifying sake, right? <laughs> I don't know why. I thought it was an empty bottle. She was gonna crack his head with it. Oh? Even if we get it out. Uh oh. Yeah, yo! So fast. See, she's so agile. Yeah, what's up with that? He is just always Zeus? I, I don't know. I thought he'd just become a normal human afterwards. Oh! She actually bottled him now! Okay. <laughs> this is how I was originally thinking about handling it. <laughs> Dude, it's a third grader fucking smashing a bottle on a grown man. This is... <laughs> what? You know what? Therefore... That's a wicked cycle. It's like, you kind of want to give him redemption, right? So he can become a better person. But if everyone just like looks down on him, it's like, why would he want to reintegrate back into society, right? Wait, are you... Are you... Okay, I thought, I thought she was hanging him for a second, yo. Yeah, yo is going crazy this episode. All right, let's run. So casual about this. Hey, K, you're gonna ask him, how'd you know where I was again? Remember the last time where Eiko just showed up? Hmm? He's back. Wait, it's not over yet. Wait, he got repossessed though, right? Did we just leave? I've never felt this. 
because it went back into his body, right? Spirits killing other spirits, like in her room, or she like tortures. Yeah. Interesting mechanic. We're learning some new stuff. Okay. But they don't die. They need more energy. Spirits all have like this battery and they need to consume other spirits to get stronger. Yeah. Okay. I, I'm, I'm not following. What is it? It put their body at the right how to devour their guts. Huh, wait. Huh? Can we just leave like this? Are you sure? <laughs> Why does it look so tiny and cute though? This little kangaroo? At this point, we shouldn't even avoid. We should just embrace them. Yeah, literally, we should embrace it by learning how to like deal with them because we're not getting away from it. Exactly. So far, Eiko and Yayoi has kind of bailed them out every time. He's panning over to Eiko when he says, People I love. Buddy, you're the main character, you have to do it! Yo, is there some- Cause she's a third grader, but she's physically so capable. Is there some kind of like spiritual powers we can use to like, I don't know, move all anime like? I don't know how far we're going into the combat system in this anime, right? I don't think we necessarily need to have like, combat. But it'd be crazy if, if it was such that like, uh, also he's finally asking. Maybe he'll overlook it. No, you don't know woman's intuition to know exactly where a person is when you kid them in a different room. All right. The clueless, dull, dumb main character so that you... At one day, maybe it'll be revealed that, you know, she was talking. Going back to, you know, being able to properly fight against spirits now. Like, Yayoi moves so quick, so strong, and she's a third grader. And you might just look at it and be like, ah, it's just anime, whatever. But sometimes, you know, actual battle mechanics might be proposed. Now, in an anime genre like this, this isn't just like a shonen, so I don't think it would happen. But it'd be pretty funny if there was like spiritual energy and you could like harness it to move faster and fight and stuff like that. I'm still waiting for Eiko to actually do something in terms of like stabbing someone with a knife because she's a yandere, right? That's a scene like that has to happen. Yo, I can't wait for that moment. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.